the original sin in Islam, who sinned first? You sh the original sin in Islam, who sinned first? You sure have heard before about original sin. What if I told you, original sin doesn't exist at all and God had already forgiven both Adam and Eve? To go even further, the first sin wasn't actually the sin of Adam. What's all of this about? Well, here is the full story, read it and find out. Here we will learn the following. Original sin in Islam The first sin in Islam The story of creation in Quran Moral of the story of the first sin in Islam What to do when you sin? Is there an original sin in Islam? No, there is no such thing as original sin in Islam. When asked, do Muslims believe in original sin the answer can't be any clearer, no. There is no original sin in Islam. Islam and original sin don't mix. What is original sin? Original sin is the belief that the first sin ever was committed by our father Adam by the seduction of our mother Eve. Why is it called original sin? That's because they are father and mother of all humanity, so it claims that all of humanity also inherited the weight and punishment for that sin. Punished for the sin of another. That's why this belief is unjust and irrational. Muslims reject it because of their adamant belief that Allah, God, is the all-just, he who doesn't wrong anyone, even by a grain of sand. Allah doesn't wrong people by punishing them for what they didn't do. You can never find original sin examples that will make that idea make sense. It's unjust to hold someone accountable for the sin of another, be it father or son or whoever. What was the first sin in Islam? Iblis sinned first not Adam. The first sin wasn't the sin of Adam, but actually a sin against Adam. Iblis, Satan, is the name of the devil, but he wasn't always a devil. He became a devil after he sinned and refused to repent to Allah, God. Just when Allah created Adam, Allah ordered the angels and Iblis with them to bow down to Adam, honoring Adam as he was created. The angels heard and obeyed, but Iblis disobeyed Allah's order. That was the first sin and here is the full story. The story of creation in Quran. Muslims believe that original sin is not biblical, but rather a fabrication made by human hands. The original Bible has been corrupted by human manipulation, addition and deletion. That's why Allah, God, revealed the true story in His last revelation, the Quran. God told the angels. Indeed, I will make upon the earth a successive authority. Angels replied. They said, Will you place upon it one who causes corruption therein and sheds blood, while we exalt you with praise and declare your perfection? Because the angels didn't know the wisdom beyond Adam's creation, they asked God that, but God the Almighty replied. He, Allah, said, Indeed, I know that which you do not know, 30. As from that creation will be the prophets, messengers, honest and good people. Then God taught Adam the names, all of them. And he showed them to the angels and said, then he showed them to the angels and said, Inform me of the names of these, if you are truthful. 31. Angels immediately replied. They said, Exalted are you, we have no knowledge except what you have taught us. Indeed, it is you who is the knowing, the wise. 32. Then God said. He said, O Adam, inform them of their names. And when he had informed them of their names, he said, did I not tell you that I know the unseen, aspects, of the heavens and the earth? And I know what you reveal and what you have concealed, 33. Angles are not talking, remaining silent. The big twist which changed everything. Does the story end here? Actually no. Then God ordered angels. We said to the angels, prostrate before Adam, so they prostrated except for Iblis. He refused and was arrogant and became of the disbelievers. 34. Quran 2 30-34 Allah tells His Prophet and humankind that He said to the angels that He would put humans on earth who will give birth to other humans, to inhabit it according to His laws. The angels asked their Lord, trying to understand, what the wisdom behind making the children of Adam guardians of the earth was, when they would ruin things in it, and kill in it. While the angels always do as he tells them, and recognize his greatness, praising him and honoring his power and perfection. Allah replied to their guest Ion, 
saying that he knew the deep wisdom behind his creation of them, and behind making them guardians, and the angels did not. To reveal the position of Adam, Allah taught him the names of everything, living things and objects, their pronunciation and meanings. Then he put them before the angels, instructing them to tell him the names if they were telling the truth when they said that they were a nobler and better creation than Adam. Recognizing their shortcomings and that everything comes from Allah, they said that they acknowledged that his judgment and sacred law could not be doubted. And that they had no knowledge except for the knowledge he had given them, accepting that he is the knowing, from whom nothing is hidden, and the wise in his decrees and laws. 33 Then Allah told Adam to tell them the names. When Adam told the angels the names of things, as he had been taught, Allah reminded the angels that he had told them that he knew everything hidden in the heavens and the earth. And what they made public and what they said inside of themselves. Allah reveals that he told the angels to prostrate to Adam out of recognition and respect, so they prostrated to him, eager to do as he told them, except for Iblis, or Satan. Who was originally from the jinn. Due to the excellence of his worship, Allah had entered Iblis into the company of the angels, but he then returned to his lowly nature, refusing to prostrate as Allah told him to. And becoming proud towards Adam, leading to him becoming a disbeliever. Al-Baqarah, 30-34 All angels prostrated except one of Jean. He is, Iblis. He reached a holy place similar to that of an angel, yet because he was Jean, he had free will. He was elevated because of willingly being good, but now he willingly disobeyed. Iblis refused to prostrate to Adam, as he was arrogant, and venomous toward Adam and that became his downfall. Iblis justifying sin. God asked Iblis. Allah, said, O oh Iblis, what prevented you from prostrating to that which I created with my hands? Were you arrogant, then, or were you, already, among the haughty, seventy-five? Iblis replied. He said, I am better than him. You created me from fire and created him from clay, 76. Allah commanded. Allah, said, then get out of it. For indeed, you are outcast, 77, and upon you is my curse until the day of judgment, 78. Did Iblis admit to his sin? No, he didn't, rather he became more conceited and cunningly appealed. He said, My Lord, then reprieve me until the day they are resurrected, 79. God said. Allah, said, So indeed, you are of those reprieved. 80, until the day of the time well known, 81. Iblis replied. By your honor, I will surely mislead them all. 82, except, among them, your genuine servants. 83. God concluded. Allah, said, The truth, is my oath, and the truth I say. 84. I will surely fill hell with you and those of them that follow you all together. 85. Quran 38 75-85 Allah said, O Iblis, what stopped you from prostrating to Adam whom I created with my hands? Did pride stop you from prostrating or were you arrogant and haughty over your Lord from before? Iblis said, I am better than Adam. You created me from fire and you created him from clay. And fire is a more noble substance than clay. Allah said to Iblis, Get out of paradise, because you are accursed and reviled. And you are to be rejected from paradise until the day of recompense, which is the day of judgment. Iblis said, Give me respite and do not make me die until the day you raise your servants. Allah said, You are amongst those given respite. Until the day of the known time which is fixed for your destruction. Iblis said, I swear by your power and domination that I shall misguide all of the children of Adam. Except whom you protect from my misguiding and you have chosen to worship you alone. Allah said, The truth is from me and the truth is what I say. I do not say anything besides it. On the day of judgment, I shall fill hell with you and your children, O Iblis, and those from the children of Adam who follow you in your disbelief, all of you. Surah Sad 75-85 Iblis didn't stop at his level of defying God. He went even further as to have an insurmountable hatred and envy for Adam, blaming him for his own faults. He went as low as to swear by God's honor that he will lead all Adam's descendants astray, and have us join him in the eternal punishment of hell fire. Eve's Creation After that God created Eve from Adam's, side, to be his partner and enter paradise with him. 
God told them. And we said, O Adam, dwell, you and your wife, in paradise and eat therefrom in, ease and, abundance from wherever you will, but do not approach a certain tree, lest you be become wrongdoers. Adam and Eve lived for some time in the beautiful garden of paradise. And with time they forgot about the order that was given to them, and their will became weak. Iblis came and kept whispering to them and seducing them with all sorts of lies. He said to them, Do you want me to guide you to the tree that will grant you eternity and a reign that never ends? And he gave them heavy promises by Allah himself that he only wants what's good for them. They followed him, and disobeyed Allah, and once they did they found out that all of Iblis's promises were lies. Instead, it only caused their covered organs to get exposed. Allah ordered them not eat from it for their own sake, even though they didn't know it was. But far more important than eating from a tree, is that they disobeyed Allah. That's a sin. But heed Allah's word as he says, Allah forgives all sins. And we said, Go down, all of you, as enemies to one another, and you will have upon the earth a place of settlement and provision for a time. Adam's Repentance God saw that Adam and Eve regretted their sin, so he taught them how to repent to him and erase that sin and any guiltiness it may had on them. Then Adam received from his Lord, some, words, and he accepted his repentance. Indeed, it is he who is the accepting of repentance, the merciful. We said, Go down from it, all of you. And when guidance comes to you from me, whoever follows my guidance, there will be no fear concerning them, nor will they grieve. And those who disbelieve and deny our signs, those will be companions of the fire, they will abide therein eternally. Quran 2 35-39 Allah told Adam to live with his wife, Eve, in the garden, with nothing to ruin their bliss. They were instructed to consume the delightful food from anywhere in the garden, but also to avoid going near a particular tree which they were forbidden to eat from. If they ate from the prohibited tree, they would become wrongdoers for disobeying him. Satan did not stop whispering to them, trying to trick them, until he made them slip and fall by eating from the tree which Allah had told them not to. For this Allah sent them out of the garden, telling them and Satan to go down to the earth, some of them enemies to others, where they would stay and live. Enjoying the good things there until their lifespan, and until the final hour arrived. Adam received the words given to him by Allah, and was inspired to ask for forgiveness with them. These words of forgiveness are mentioned in Surah Al-Araf, 23, they said, Our Lord, we have wronged ourselves. If you do not forgive us and have mercy on us, we will certainly be of the losers. Allah accepted Adam's turning to him and forgave him, for he is always forgiving and merciful towards his creation. Allah told them to go down together from the garden to the earth, and said that when he sends guidance, through the prophets. Those who follow it and have faith in his prophets will have nothing to fear in the world to come, and will not feel sorrow about what passed them by on earth. As for those who disbelieve and deny his signs, they are the people of the fire of hell, who will live there eternally. Surah Al-Baqarah 35-39 Moral of the story of the first sin in Islam Iblis was the first to sin. Out of his arrogance and envy, he swayed Adam and Eve with lies and false promises into sinning. Furthermore, he asked Allah for immortality, so that he may dedicate his life and all his efforts into doing the same with all children of Adam and Eve. Allah, in all his wisdom granted the plea of Iblis. To show us that he even may accept the plea of a devil, if he turned to him, and also to test our genuine sincerity in following his path. As the devil holds no power over us and all he can do is whisper and lie, those who follow them can blame none other than themselves. What to do when you sin? When you sin, do what your parents did. They were also tricked, they also slipped, yet they were forgiven. Allah is showing you the path to his forgiveness, all you have to do is take it. Adam and Eve repented to God and regretted what they did. And so, they were forgiven by the ever-merciful and all-forgiving. Iblis did not admit, and was not forgiven. You only need to put your head on the ground and ask Allah, and none else, for his forgiveness. Say, Forgive me Allah for I have sinned, and know that when you show sincerity he forgives. Link of the other article on forgives and repentance conditions. The Messenger of Allah, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, said. When someone recites the ayat of sajda, prostration, and then falls down in prostration, Iblis goes weeping into seclusion and says. 
Woe unto me, the son of Adam was commanded to prostrate, he prostrated and paradise was entitled to him and I was commanded to prostrate, I refused and am doomed to hell. Sahih Muslim 81a References 1, verse, 2 colon 30-34, of Quran, English Interpretation of Meaning. 2, verse, 38 colon 75-85, of Quran, English Interpretation of Meaning. 3, verse, 2 colon 35-39, of Quran, English Interpretation of Meaning. 4, Hadith, Sahih Muslim 81a.